Just how random is a random wire antenna? Do they work? Hi, I'm Walt K4OGO, or currently Sierra Papa stroke K4OGO as I'm working in uh, doing a little bit of what I'll call urban portable operations here in Poland. I built one, I wanna show it to you, stick around. The random wire antenna, well, there's really nothing random about it. There are very specific lengths that you need to find and, and make and use when you're building one of these. You know, it's got the name random wire because it's an easy deployable antenna. A nine to one un, -un and a, some wire out the window, up a tree, in all different configurations, and, and you've got an antenna. And you know what, people, they're compromised, but I think they work pretty well. There's a great, a uh, couple great spots I've found online that describe uh, lengths and, and, and how to build these antennas. I'll, I'll put them down in the comments. Basically though, what you're trying to do for a random wire is find a length that's, that's not resonant on a half wavelength or any of its multiples. And there's a, a great website, like I said, I'll show you, but um, basically some of these lengths to start out with are 29, 33 and a half, 41, 58, 71, 84 feet, and on and on as you go through those spots that, that aren't resonant. So I'm gonna build one with 41 feet. My thoughts on, third, on 41 feet is, 41 feet is almost a 5 8 wavelength for the 20 meter band. So what I was thinking is I'm gonna start out and this thing's gonna be really, it's gonna be sloping, but as close to vertical as I could get. And you know, 5 8, five eight wavelength antenna and a vertical is a, man, it's a DX monster because of the takeoff angle. I won't achieve that takeoff angle, but what I'm gonna to try to do as I start out with this thing is, is see if that, that length works and what kind of DX I can get but you know, with, with a 41 foot, it's one of the shorter, shorter sizes for random wires. And people usually build them a lot longer. But I want to try 41 feet and see how it works for me, especially for DX. Here you go. Here's the setup. Okay, here's the antenna. Um, basically, just used a insulator, dipole insulator. Down, that's uh, got a rock over top of it. But down to that little pile, there's a bit of construction going on here. And that's a pile of uh, dirt. I got a tent stake buried down in it. But here's the antenna going up to the second floor window. That's it. As you can see, uh, we'll think probably maybe 40, 35, 40 degree angle, somewhere in that neighborhood. If you look up there, you can see it going over to the side there. There's a 17 foot. Uh, counterpoise have it kind of hanging and dangling over the side here I'll show you got an insulator on that as well so there's the uh, there's the counterpoise hanging off the side there 17 foot counterpoise and there's the antenna up to the top of the second floor window and up to the nine to one on, on at the top of the window here on the second floor uh, a few things I advice I would give you I'm using 50 feet of coax as you can see there uh, random wire antennas you need the coax because it's using part of the coax as, uh, as, as the counter to that antenna um, there's my uh, Zygu G90 what I do too is uh, six turns of that uh, about four four and a half inches in diameter just with some tape around it just kind of has a choke towards the end there but um, that's the setup and um, that's what I'm going to be working with Okay, so I purposely aimed this antenna in a direction that I knew I could get some pretty good DX from. You know, basically, what I was shooting for was across Europe, the United Kingdom, possibly the United States, but every morning here, right now in Europe, um, VK and ZL is really you know, coming around long path. So I wanted to aim it in the direction of, of Australia long path just to see. I mean, this is 20 watts with a you know, a non-resonant wire that I'm, you know, using the ATU to, to get it to work. This is, this is a, a wire, I, I didn't know if I could make it happen or not. But guess what? I got around a couple times uh, in the morning. I, I made it to VK land. Here you go. Oh, 
have a good time now on us because I've seen now I've um, got to go and do some things this evening here. Uh, Bolton had a beautiful day. Been about 20 degrees Celsius and uh, really pleasant. Thank you, Walt. Have a great time there at home. SP stroke K4OTO, Victor, Kilo 3, Mike Oscar. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're about 5'6 to 5'7 here, getting you just above the noise, but uh, uh, punching through, Corey. Wow, that was pretty cool. That was a great, I, I think it proved my point about uh, maybe the, the length of 5'8 wavelength, the angle. Maybe I got lucky. I don't know, but it worked. It was wonderful. This thing also worked well across Europe on uh, 40, 20, 15, and uh, you know, 10 meters right now. 10 meters is really crazy. Um, the, the the MUF, you know, the maximum maximum use, usable frequency. Ah, that took him out. Anyway, the MUF here in Northern Europe. I'm way up in Northern Europe. I don't know if people really understand how far north I am, but um, the MUF daily was only getting up. The maximum usable, usable frequency was only getting up around 25, 26 megahertz. So it kind of took the 10 meter band out of play. But um, you know, I, I kept watching and, and tried later. But here's here was the typical. Um, Europe type um, QSOs I was getting even on 40 meters this thing was short for 40 meters just a quick quick shot from 40 meters with this antenna in this configuration Sugar Papa stroke Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Okay, I wanted to try something different now. I wanted to make it somewhat horizontal. And I also wanted to change it so broadside would be the same direction as I was aiming now. As I was aiming at that direction towards the UK, US, and long path, I wanted to pick it up and take it up as far vertical, I'm sorry, as far horizontal as I can and, and turn it around so I was just going to rotate the antenna around and do it that way. Here it goes. Okay, I've rotated the wire. The antenna is now... Not quite horizontal, but that's probably about as close to horizontal as I can get it. It's up on the top of a fence post. That fence post is up on a hill there too. So it's up there quite a bit. Different angle. I think we're shooting more for, uh, see how this thing will perform broadside now. Little did I know that this setup put me directly broadside, horizontally. To Russia, you know, the, the big next door neighbor here uh, to Poland, uh, not far away. I'm basically right in the uh, skip zone of Russia. So, um, you know, pileups, you know, when I was trying to work DX, I was just getting stepped on by, by Russians. Here's an example of uh, what it was like to uh, try to work a DX pileup with, uh, with, uh, other, with Russians trying to work it at the same time. Okay, um, you know, I could have kept the antenna in this uh, situation here and probably there was a, actually this weekend there's been uh, a, a Russian uh, contest. Um, not to be political or not to go down that road or anything, but I just think that it was probably not going to be a good idea for me to sit here and, and, and try to work a Russian contest. I mean, I, my job uh, and what I'm doing, I am here for a specific reason and that would probably not go over too well if I sat here all day and... Uh, had conversations with, uh, with, with Russians. So uh, I, I know they're probably great people. I'm not being political. I'm just telling you, it was probably wiser for me to move this antenna and try something else. So here's what I did. Okay, reposition this thing back in the same direction as I had it before, but trying to make it as horizontal as possible. So I've got it stretched from the top of the window out and all the way to the fence that way with what cable I had to use 
Like I said, now the angle is nowhere near as uh, what it was before, but um, and we're not quite horizontal, but we're closer to being horizontal. We're just a slight angle down. Let's we'll see how this works. Okay, with the antenna back up, kind of in the same direction, but up a little bit more horizontal. It really worked out well. It really did. It was uh, it was fun. I made some great uh, contacts uh, on 20 meters. And hey, I finally made that 10 meter uh, contact. Uh, the, finally, the the, the uh, band opened up here into northern Poland, and I finally made that 10 meter contact. So I made contacts on this antenna, uh, 40, 20, 15, and 10. I made them on every band. QSL, I copy you 5-8, beautiful signal, 5-8 into the north of Poland. I'm about 60 kilometers west of Gdansk up on the Baltic Sea. Okay, thank you. Thank you for 5-8 report. Uh, you also 5-7-5-8, 5-7-5-8 the report. I'm here in the south part of Spain in the province of Malaga. Uh, my province is in the east side of the Strait of Gibraltar by the Mediterranean Sea. There you go. I worked every band with this thing. I worked 40, uh, 20, 15, and 10. And those were the bands I was shooting for and what I built this thing for. Uh, it's just an amazing antenna. Uh, it's okay. It's not the best antenna in the world, but it is what it is. It, it works. Uh, you know, everything I have, I brought over in a bag with me. You know, this was uh, basically what I'm calling urban, uh, urban portable. You know, that's what I am. I, I flew over on an airplane with everything in a bag and then I'm throwing up antennas and, and doing this type thing. So if you're in a, a situation where you want, you know, just limited, got a little bit of wire, you want to put up an antenna, this thing's awesome. Uh, it, it, listen, it's a compromise. Everything's a compromise. But, you know, after seeing the contacts I made uh, Long Path, I'm wondering just how much of a compromise is it and how much loss are you really is really there using the ATU and the radio. I know there's, there's formulas and people can figure it out. Look, I'm just making it happen. I'm just over here having fun, putting up wires, putting up antennas, and, and enjoying myself and my time off when I'm not working. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hey, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO73, my friends. See you soon.